Okay, just to do this uh, one more time here, I'm actually going to record it this time. Just to complement the uh, in-class learning here, we're going to see what we have. I'm actually going to work on um, creating a boardroom. Right, Terrence? Um, so you can see right now, the boardroom exists with a table, eight seats, some storage. I, it's all my outbox, guys. It's, it's, a, it's the French one. Look. This is the dining table that I resized. I just showed that a few minutes ago. This this furniture here, um, it's European. It's really cool. It's designer based. Um, so I put all this in, and you guys notice my pocket doors, eh? I love these pocket doors. I have to find um, the pocket door version with glass, right? It would be kind of nice to have um, semi-opaque panes going across. That'd be nice. Okay, so I'm just going to go right to the ceiling plan. Double-click ceiling plan level one. And I'm just going to start with some uh, random ceiling here. Let's see, we should be in home. Look for ceiling. And what I'm going to do is automatic ceiling does this. If you click on automatic ceiling, pop, it's in here. Now, uh, escape, cool. I'm going to highlight this again. Let's see if I could change the material. Last time I worked on this computer, the 2x2, two two, look at this. Guys, let's hope this one's going to work. Yes! My 2x2 two two works, right? Remember last time I was getting 2x4s? Anyhow, here's my ceiling. It's a 2x4 gri grid. Let's look at a couple things here. I'm going to tab again on the outside. Uh, sorry, on the outer edge. It says right now, folks, take a look here. The height offset is 8 feet. Okay, so I'm going to change this to 9 feet. Whatever, nice. But, you know, the, thing, the point is I want to make a pocket, right? So that's this part's okay. So I'm done. Um, and what I want to do at this point... Again, I want to highlight it. And let's see, let's make a new... Actually, let's just go to edit. Guys, watch this now. I have the whole outline of the ceiling. If I select this rectangle tool at this point and create a random rectangle box here, what's going to happen is there's going to be a cutout. Okay, Ravi Das, I'm on here. I'm doing this for you guys, eh? Okay, so here it is. I have this, and I really don't want the outside bulkhead to be 2x2, two two, right? So I'm just going to select it. I'm just going to come over here, and it's selected. I want to make this just into a drywall ceiling. What? Generic ceiling, but there should be the drywall in here. There it is. Cool. Now, guys, I'm going to come in here and insert a new ceiling. This time, uh, I'm going to sketch myself. I'm going to come over here, like that. Boom. Finito Bambino. That's done. Um, I may decide to leave this as a 2x4 ceiling. Actually, let's just change it to 2x2, two two, just for fun. And I'm going to tab until I select it. It's not coming up. That's just drywall. Uh, here, two by two, right? That's easy. The reason why I pick this because whenever I'm working with lights, I can figure out where my proportions are, right? Otherwise, you can always change it backwards. So let's take a peek in terms of what we've done so far. Level one. I'm gonna put a camera in here. One, two, shoot. There's the camera so far, looking pretty good, shaded. Click on the outer edge to expand. Hey, look, guys. This part here <laughs> actually did the opposite. Look at this. This ceiling is lower than that. So I want to reverse that, right? So I'll go to level one. Highlight this. Oh, that's at eight feet. My apologies. This should be maybe t nine foot six. What you had yours, right? Nine space six. And what I'll do is I'll drop this one down a bit. Let's make this one 8-6. Eight, 8-6, six. Eight space six, enter, good enough. Um, let's go to my 3D view down here. 3D view. Bop. Now that looks a lot better. Okay. I may even reduce it a bit more. Okay. So this is looking pretty good. Let's just bring in some lights to uh, make this more interesting. Okay, I'm going to hold shift, spin around the camera. It's pretty good. Bring this part down. Okay, so let's bring some fixtures in there. Let's do that. 
ceiling level one that's good go to my home component this is the light that you guys didn't like yesterday where is that yeah but what can you say you know like for right now I'm just gonna use it because it's really utilitarian it works aesthetically I could find something better for now that's cool and let's go find some cool pot lights here um, I brought the ceiling rounds Martin this one's for you I'm just gonna put two here two of these ones D these are pretty big but I'm gonna bring the other ones from the normal library okay components place component let's see what do I want today hmm These lights are okay. What's going on here? Okay, I think this is pretty good. Wall, door, and column, window, ceiling, roof. It's all good. Okay, I'll just bring some more. Actually, I'm just going to insert, add load of family. I'm going to go to light fixtures. Guys, it's taking a little longer than I want, but I want that light from yesterday. It's really powerful. You guys remember which light I used? Was it uh, the? F no, it was just. Let's see. It didn't look like this. One, two, three. We're flying here. No, it was in this one. It was actually in Revit's library. So I'm gonna flat round. Recessed. That's not bad. Strip. Okay, let's go with recessed. We'll see what how that goes. I'm going to go one, two, three here. One, two, three there. And maybe two more on this wall since. Okay, good enough. Escape, escape. Go back. Say again? Uh, I think it's you. Uh, the air conditioning actually is working for once, which is cool. Huh? Um. <laughs> We'll just take this as it is. I mean, remember yesterday, right? I, I, I'll take today's temperature over 110 degrees. Anytime. Okay, I'm going to shoot a rendering here. See how this is going to turn out. Make sure we have scheme as artificial only. Let's go to um, a low draft render. See how this goes. I'm going to pause my rendering, I think, until this works. 50. Okay, we're back. And this recording, I mean, uh, <laughs> this rendering isn't too bad. Okay, so what I'll do right now, I might as well add a, a wall component change for you guys. You asked for this yesterday. Guys, how many of you wanted me to change the material here for the interior? Okay, so why don't I just... Hang on. That, let's just do one thing at a time. Counter, the ones I make, I can. It depends how... Go for it, yep. I'm just going to add another uh, a camera quickly. And I'm going to change... Where's my camera? Okay, I want to shoot this wall, change this one up. Shaded edges. Actually, you know what? I want to change this exterior wall here. I'm just going to hold tab. Boop, that's in. Come over here, uh, duplicate this wall. I'm just going to call it New Valiant. Okay, that's cool. Let's go to edit and masonry brick. Guys, I think this is worth reviewing for you guys who want to change the material for the interior. Take a look. Terrence. Come on. This way. This wall on the interior has a gypsum. That means drywall. Okay? You guys have asked me how to change the interior material. So here we go. Instead of selecting gypsum, for example, yes, you may. Um, let's change this material to other than drywall, right? So if I come over here, go for, uh, let's say, masonry, stone. What do we have here? Masonry, stone. This is cool. I like this one. It's really warm. So again, instead of pressing replace, I just went over here. Sometimes when we press replace, it crashes. I have no idea why. But for now, this works. Masonry, stone. Apply. Boom. And OK. Apply again. Wow. 
Was that the longest spell or it was just me? Okay, so I'm just going to change this to hyper real here. Realistic. There. It's happening, right? Do you see how cool that is, guys? This is a lot better. Tuvarkan, you've got this now happening. Okay? I've got the wall. Got the material there. Somebody close that door, please. Thank you. And I'm going to take a rendering of this right now. So let's do a better rendering. And I'm just going to go to high. And I will pause. Pardon? Oh, yep. Thank you. You know what's funny? It doesn't remember the last setting. you got to do it every time. In Max and other applications like Flash, you do you create setting and boom, it remembers it. But that's okay. Thank you for that kind reminder. So let's pause again for the cause. And this will take another second. Okay. So this took over 12 minutes. Note to self, never run medium level. Always um, render on a, a medium or less. So that was kind of cool. So um, if I just press this and show the rendering. There's the rendering. And what I want you guys to do, folks, remember this part. Whenever you render something like this, you can go to Save to Project. That's one. Name it. So if I do this right now, Boardroom. Let's say, you know, from reception. Okay, so that's good. Uh, or you can export and save it as a JPEG somewhere and um, keep that for your presentations. So, having done that, I think that's pretty good. I'll end this recording now because it's been over 10 minutes, so we don't want to go that far out. Take care, folks. Bye bye.